Good morning, learners, students, and all viewers. My name is Eno Kasera. I'm a teacher of mathematics from Acacia Crest Academy. Well, I have been in the teaching profession for six years now. I have been teaching mathematics and science. I am here today to take you through specific KCP revision questions. Uh, before that, I would like to take you through some of the tips that will help you to learn mathematics back at home. Now, the first tip is that you need a conducive environment while you are at home. You know very well that you cannot do mathematics if you are distracted. And so, conducive environment will help you concentrate so as to get that which you are doing. Number two, Number two, apart from conducive environment, apart from uh, conducive environment, you also, so conducive environment, Number two, you must have good mastery of the concept. Now, you know in mathematics, if you don't have the concept that is required, then you are likely not to get that which you are doing. And so, the mastery of this concept is very key. Number three, apart from the mastery of the concept, you also have to create yourself a timetable for revision. Now, the timetable for revision will help you to know and to understand what or which subject you are supposed to do at a particular time. So timetable is always very key in studying mathematics. Now, having talked about those tips, I want to take you through I want to take you through some of the questions that I wanted us to do today. Now, the topic that I have decided to take you through today, you remember I said we are going to look at specific KCP, KCP, it's okay, KCP revision questions. Now, the topic is going to be measurement. And the subtopic 
The subtopic is operation. I mean, problems involving operation of fractions. Now, this is a very, very key area in mathematics that is always tested in KCP. Now, there are two things that we need to understand in this subtopic. The first one, or the first key word here, keyword, now the first keyword is remainder, and then the second one is rest. So every time we'll be working out the questions, we need to be very careful with these two words as far as problems involving fractions are concerned. Now, let me take you through the first question. Okay, yes, really. <clears throat> so let me take you through the first question. Like I said earlier, we are going to be very careful with the word remainder and the word rest. Because those are the areas that if you are very careful with, then you will not get these questions wrong. I mean, now, my first question is from KCPE 2014. KCP 2014, number 13. Now, I'll read for you the question, and then after that, then I'll show you how that question is supposed to be done. I read, Tuku spent a third of his money on school uniform a quarter on books, two thirds of the remainder on food and saved the rest. What total fraction of his money did he save? I repeat again, Tuku spent a third of his money on school uniform, a quarter on books, and two thirds of the remainder on food and saved the rest. So, the first thing that you're supposed to do, now normally, we know that fraction is always part of a whole. Fraction is always part of a whole. And therefore, every time you'll be told to find the remainder, the question that you should be asking yourself, this remainder, of course, must be part of a certain whole. So you're supposed to take a whole, then you subtract the total fraction. Okay, you swallow it, huh? Now, Tubu spent a third of his money on school uniform. So the first thing that I wanted to do is to write what was spent so as to so as to find what is this remainder now a third of his money on school uniform so a third okay uh, so we have a third a third on a school uniform. So 
books. Just a minute, I get it. So a pad was used on school uniform and a quarter on books. So this is what was used on books and school fee is a third. Then for us to get the remainder, for us to get the remainder, for us to get the remainder, <clears throat> first we have to find the total of a third and a quarter, a third and a quarter. Now, um, okay. Two over three of the remainder on food. So food, two over three of the remainder. Two over three of the food on the remainder. Now, and save the rest. It's okay. Now, first and foremost, we are supposed to find the fraction that was spent on uh, on food. We are told this is two over two third of the remainder. When I was starting. I say that we are supposed to be very careful with the remainder and the rest. Now, for us to find the remainder, because that is what we are supposed to find first, we add what was spent on school fee together with what was spent on books. So these two, we add. Now, after adding, we will subtract from a whole in order to get the remainder. So. We take a third plus a quarter. We'll find the LCM of the denominators. That is 3 and 4. And the LCM is 12. Now, 3 goes into 12 four times. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus, 4 goes into 12 three times. 3 times 1 is 3. So when we add, we get 7 over 12. Now, 7 over 12 is what was spent on school fee and books. Now, for us to get the remainder, we are supposed to subtract this from a whole. Now, getting the remainder, we subtract, we subtract, we subtract 1 minus 7 over 12. Now, again, we find the LCM, which is 12. 1 goes into 12, 12 times. 12 times 1 is 12. Minus 12 goes into 12, 1. 1 times 7 is 7. So, the remainder is 5 over 12. Now, we were told that he spent two thirds of the remainder, and the remainder is already 5 over 12. Now, for us to get what was spent on food, we are going to take two thirds of the remainder, which is 5 over 12. So, you come and take two thirds of five over twelve. Now, of simply means multiplication, so we'll multiply two times five, which is ten, and then three times twelve, which is thirty-six. After doing so, then we simplify. Two goes here five. 
and 2 goes here, 18. So we have 5 over 18. Now 5 over 18 is what was spent on food. So you can come again and write school fee is a third books a quarter and then what was spent on food is this 5 over 12. Now, having gotten now what was spent on school fee, books and food, then if you look at the question, we are told after spending two thirds of the remainder on food, which is 5 over 12, then he saved the rest. He saved the rest. Now, what is this that was saved? Again, we are going to add all that was spent, and then after that, we'll subtract from a whole in order to get that which was spent, I mean, that which was saved. Oh. Five over 18. Now, let us add a third plus a quarter plus five over 18. Now, we'll find the LCM of 18, four and three. So the LCM of this, three here one, four, 18, two goes here one, two, nine, Two one nine three one three and then three. Now three times three is nine. Nine times two is eighteen. Eighteen times two is thirty six. Thirty six times three one hundred and eight. Now after getting the LCM of those uh, denominators which is 3, 4, and 18. So 108. Now, we ask ourselves, how many times 3 goes into 108? 3 goes into 108. 6, 12, 36. Plus, 4 goes into 108, how many times? 27. Then, 18 goes into 108, 6. 6 times 5 is 40. Then we add 36 plus 27 plus 40. 6. Uh, this is 13, carry 1. 7, 8. So adding 36, 27, and 40, this will give us 3, 1, 4, 6, 10, 103. So we have 103 over 108. Now, then after finding the sum of this, then we subtract from a whole. Now, our whole is going to be 1 minus 103 over 108. Uh, now, uh, just a minute. A minute. Now, uh, 18, sorry, uh, we have uh, 18 goes into 108. Uh, this is 9. Um, 6 times, 6 times 5. Uh, this should be 30, sorry. Uh, so now we have 36 plus 27 plus 30. So this is 3. 
93. So it's 93 over 108. Now, 93, if over one of, uh, 108, if you subtract from a whole, uh, so 108 minus 93. So 108 minus 93, this is 5. So we have 5 over 108. And that is what was saved. So basically, what we are supposed to do first, to find the remainder, we are supposed to add what we have been given. Then after adding, then uh, we subtract from a whole in order to get, um, in order to get the remainder. Now, in number two, okay, number two. In number two, okay. Now, like I said earlier. Uh, yes, that's the one. Can I have the eraser? Uh, it's permanent. Uh. Now, basically what we are doing here, after finding the remainder, then we can be able to get the unknown. Now, in the next question, which is KCP 2012, number 19, uh, I read, Jane gave money to her three children. She gave a third of the total amount to the first child and two-fifths of the remainder to the second child. She was then left with 2,400, which she gave to the third child. How much money did she give out altogether? Again, we are asked to find the rest. So we have the unknown, two unknown here. Uh, the first one is the remainder. So, learners. Let us first write uh, the information that we have been given. Jane gave money to her three children. She gave a third of the total amount to the first child. So a third to the first child. So we write the first child, which is a third. And then she gave a third of the total amount to the first child and two thirds of the remainder to the second child. So we have three children. The first child is given a third and, and then we have two thirds of the remainder to the second child. Now, for us to get the remainder, because we're supposed to find two fifths of the remainder. For us to find the remainder, for us to find the remainder, we are going to subtract a third from one whole. So, one whole minus a third is going to be two thirds. Now, if you take two thirds, then we multiply by two fifths in order to get what the second child spent. Now, two-fifths two -fifth of two-thirds is going to be 4 over 15. So we have a uh, first child. First child got a third, and then the um, two fifths of the remainder of the second child. So, second child is two fifths 
of the remainder. The remainder. Now, then we have, she was then left with 2,400, which she gave to the third child. So, she was left with uh, 2,400, which uh, she gave to the, sec I mean, to the ch third child. How much money did she give out altogether? Altogether. Now, so like I said, first let us find what the second child got. How do we get that which the second child got? So, we are told two thirds of the remainder. Now, we are supposed to find the remainder after a third was given out. So we take one whole, subtract a third. Now this is going to give us, uh, the LCM is three, two over three, or two thirds. So two thirds is what was remaining after the first child got a third. Now, the second child we are told got a two fifths of the remainder, which is two-thirds. So, we are going to take two-fifths, then we multiply by two-thirds, which is the remainder. Now, two times two is four, five times three is 15. So, this four over 15 is what was given to the second child. Now, after getting that which was given to the second child, then we are told that a third was given, a third was given to the third child, uh, 2,400 was given to the third child, which in terms of the amount was 2,400. So first and foremost, we are supposed to get the fraction that the third child got. Then that one will be the same as what the third child got in terms of the amount. So we get, the fraction of the third child. Again, for us to get the fraction of the third child, we are going to take what was spent the first child, what the first child got, and what the second child got. So the LCM is still 15. 3 goes here, 5, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4. So that is 9 over 15. Now 9 over 15, is what uh, the first and the second child got. So now, after getting this, you can simplify. Three goes here, three, three goes here, five. So three fifth is what uh, the total of the first child and the second child. So for us to get now the, the third child, okay. So the total of first and second child is 3 over 5. Now, for us to get the fraction that the third child got, then we are going to take one whole, then we subtract 3 fifths. Now, LCM is 5. Uh, 5 minus 3, so it is 2 over 5. So 2 over 5 is the fraction that the third child got. Now we are told that um, in terms of the amount, the third child got 2,400. So now this becomes our reference point. Now the question requires to find the total amount that was there altogether. So we say if two fifths is equivalent to 2,400, what about uh, one whole? Because one whole will represent uh, the total that was spent. Uh, so is equal to what? Cross multiply. So we'll have one times 2,400 divided by 
the reciprocal of 2 over 5. So root multiplication times 5 over 2. 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 1200. So 1200 times 5 is going to give us 6000. So the 6000 is going to be the answer for that question. Take me to the next question. Now, you need to be very careful with these two words in, when, when, when solving problems involving operation on fractions. If you can look at the questions that I've given so far, it's either the remainder or the rest. So the examiner just play with your mind. So you need to be very keen enough so that you get the correct answer. Now, the next question. KCP 2010, number 40. This is KCP 2010, number 40. I read the question. A teacher had a certain number of books. She gave a third of the books to John. So John was given a third of the books. She gave a third of the books to John and a quarter to Lucy. So Lucy got a quarter. She also gave a tenth of the remaining books to Patel. So Patel got a tenth of the remaining books. The remaining books. Huh? If the teacher was left with 18 books, so the teacher was left with 18 books. Now, the question is, how many books had she uh, given out to Lucy? So we need to know the number of books that was given to Lucy. Now. Just the same approach. First and foremost, we are supposed to get what Patel got in terms of the fraction. A tenth of the remaining books. Now, we are supposed to find the remaining books. And to find the remaining books, we are going to add that which was given to Lucy and John. So we add the two first. Then we subtract the total from a whole. That will give us what was remaining. So we come and add the two. So we have a third. So John and Lucy. So we have a third plus a quarter. Now, the LCM is 12. Three goes here, four. Four times one is four, plus three. So this is seven over 12. So 7 over 12 is what John and Lucy spent all together. But we are supposed to find the remaining books before we find the fraction that Patel got. So what do we do? After finding what was John and Lucy got, then we subtract from a whole. So the remaining books, or the remainder, is going to be a whole minus 7 over 12. Now, this is 1 over 1 over 7 over 12. Uh -huh, 12 minus 7. So the remainder is 5 over 12. Now, according to this information, again, we are told Patel got a tenth of the remaining books. And already the remaining books is 5 over 12. So to find the fraction that Patel got, To find the fraction that Patel got, we are going to take 5 over 12. So Patel is a tenth of 
5 over 12. <laughs> now, then uh, the LCM is going to be 120. So that is 12. Uh, sorry. Uh, 1 times 5 is 5. So 1 times 5 is 5, and 10 times 12 is 120. So 5 over 120 is what Patel got. You can simplify this. 5 goes here 1, 5 goes here 2, goes of 10, remember 2, to 24. So we have 1 over 24. Now this is what uh, Patel uh, got. Now, according to the information that we are given here before, we are told teacher was left with 18 books. Now, again, we find the total of what John got, Lucy and Patel. Then, from there, we can be able to know what the teacher got. So, again, we take a third plus a quarter, a third plus a quarter. So we have a third plus a quarter plus one over 24. Now this is what was spent by the three persons. So the LCM is 24. Three goes in 24 eight times. So four goes here six. This is one. So this is going to be 15 over 24. Now the 15 over 24 is what was spent by the three persons. So again, we find to get what was left or the remainder, because that is what we, we want to find what the teacher got. So after finding the total of the three, again, you subtract from a whole. Subtract from a whole. So you come here and say 1 minus 15 over 24. So the LCM is 24. Uh, 24 minus 15. So this is 9 over 24. Okay, now uh, we can simplify 3 goes here 3, 3 goes here 12. Uh, sorry, 3 goes here uh, 8. So we have 3 over 8. Now, that is what the teacher got. According to that question, we are being told that the teacher got 18 books. So after getting the fraction that the teacher got, you equate it with the number of books that he got. So this 3 over 8 is what the teacher got in terms of fraction. But now in terms of the books, he got 18. So you come and say, if 3 over 18, uh, 3 over 8 is equal to uh, 18, what about, what about, we are looking at now the question, what Lucy got, the fraction that Lucy got was a quarter. So you come and say, what about a quarter? It's equal to what? Cross multiply, so you'll have a quarter times 18 times the reciprocal of 3 over 8, which is 8 over 3. 4 goes here 1, 4 goes here 2, 3 goes here 1, 3 goes here 6. So we have 12 books. So the 12 books are the ones that uh, uh, that got, lady got. All right. Mm. Can I do another one? Okay, now I will do the last question uh, since I'm almost out of time. Uh, then the rest, you can just try to do them back at home. Now I'll read the question. This is KCP 209, number 19. In a meeting, three fifths of the attendants were women. So, women, you start by writing that. Uh, the number of women were. Three fifth. Uh, a quarter of the remainder were men. So men is a quarter of the remainder. Quarter of the remainder. This is the key word. Quarter of the remainder. 
and then uh, a quarter of the remainder were men and then the rest were children so children rest then again we are told there were 80 men in that meeting now men again we are told that there were 80 then now the question is how many children were there so they want us to find the number of children the number of children okay now just like uh, the other question the other questions first we are supposed to get what men got in terms of fraction and we are told that what men got was a quarter of the remainder so first let us find the remainder how do you get the remainder we are going to take we are going to take uh, 3 over 5 or 3 fifths minus a whole so we have 1 minus 3 over 5 this is going to give us 2 over 5 so 2 over 5 is going to be uh, the remainder then to find now what men got we are going to take a quarter then we multiply by the remainder which is 2 fifths now if you multiply that 1 times 2 is 2, 4 times 5, this is 20. 2 goes here 1, 2 goes here 10. So a tenth is what was uh, what the men got in terms of the fraction. Now, children got the rest. How do we get the fraction that the children got? First and foremost, we're supposed to get or to add what men and women got. So men and women. So the fraction representing men is a tenth, and that of we, uh, women is three-fifths. So again, we find the LCM is 10. So this is 1 plus uh, 6. So this is 7 over 10. Now, the 7 over 10 is what the total of women and men. So now, for us to get what the children got, again, we come back and say, uh, 1 minus 7 over 10, because that is one whole. So we take one whole minus 7 over 10. Ah, this one will give us 3 over 10. 3 over 10 is what the children got. Now, we have already uh, found out, in terms of fraction, what the men got, which is a tenth. And again, according to the question, we were told that men got 80. So, what we're supposed to do is to, uh, uh, this one is going to be our reference point. So men is 80 in terms of number and uh, a tenth in terms of the fraction. So that becomes our reference point. So you come and say 1 over 10 is equal to 80. What about the fraction that is presenting children? Because now that is what the examiner wants. So children was rest which is uh, 3 over 10 so I can also write it here so that you don't forget so what about 3 over 10 so again cross multiply 3 over 10 times 8 eh, times the reciprocal of 1 over 10 which is going to be 10 over 1 so 10 uh, 0 0 so now we have 24 times 10 which is 240 so 240 is going to be our answer for that question. Uh, so for today, that is much that you can do. So the remaining questions, I'll be able to do them next week, the same time, the same place. So. If you have any question, you can just ask. Then I will be able to answer those questions. Uh, the numbers are on the screen. So just make sure that you send all your questions through that number. And then I'll be able to answer all of them next time when we meet the same place.